5 Inventions Created by Accident The Microwave Oven The microwave oven is now a standard appliance in most American households, but it has only been around since the late 1940s. In 1945, Percy Spencer was experimenting with a new vacuum tube called a magnetron while doing research for the Raytheon Corporation. He was intrigued when the candy bar in his pocket began to melt, so he tried another experiment with popcorn. When it began to pop, Spencer immediately saw the potential in this revolutionary process. In 1947, Raytheon built the first microwave oven, the Radar Range, which weighed 750 pounds, was 5.5 feet tall, and cost about $5,000. X-rays they're not the first electromagnetic wave that was discovered by accident. But in 1895, when Wilhelm Röntgen was performing an experiment using cathode rays, he realized that some fluorescent cardboard across the room was lighting up, in spite of the fact that there was a thick block between the cathode ray and the cardboard. The only explanation was that light rays were actually passing through the solid block. Viagra Pfizer, or PFE, chemists were developing a pill to treat cardiovascular ailments. In 1991, something came up, literally, that sidetracked those efforts. Test subjects exhibited a rather virile side effect of the treatment. The pill, later named Viagra and approved by the FDA in 1998, proved a bust in terms of treating heart disease. But the unexpected benefit pumped up its maker's bottom line and set the stage for a brand new industry. Today, drugs to treat erectile dysfunction command more than $5 billion a year in sales globally. Of that take, Viagra accounts for about $1.9 billion each year. Potato Chip If you can't eat just one potato chip, blame it on Chef George Crumb. He reportedly created the salty snack in 1853 at Moon's Lake House near Saratoga Springs, New York. Fed up with a customer who continuously sent his fried potatoes back, complaining that they were soggy and not crunchy enough, Crumb sliced the potatoes as thin as possible, fried them in hot grease, then doused them with salt. The customer loved them, and Saratoga chips quickly became a popular item at the lodge and throughout New England. To his surprise, however, the complaining customer actually liked them, and thus potato chips were born. Coca-Cola while serving as a lieutenant colonel, John Pemberton, who was a pharmacist, was wounded. He got addicted to the morphine used to ease the pain. He began experimenting with coca and coca wines for opium-free alternatives, eventually creating his own version of Vin Mariani, containing cola nut and damiana, which he called Pemberton's French wine coca. Relying on Atlanta druggist Willis Venable to test and help him perfect the recipe for the beverage, which he formulated by trial and error, it eventually included blending the base syrup with carbonated water by accident when trying to make another glass. Pemberton decided then to sell it as a fountain drink rather than a medicine. This is why the original Coke actually did include cocaine on its list of ingredients. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed. Check out one of these videos and don't forget to subscribe to support more videos.